What should you install when you've bought or built a new PC? You'll get plenty of different answers depending on if you're asking a blue shirt, an IT pro, or whoever the designated computer person in your family is. Probably you. But one thing that a lot of people say by default is CCleaner. CCleaner has been around since 2004 and it promises to clean all the crap off your PC. Little known fact, the name CCleaner is short for crap cleaner. But I guess after a while, the developers thought that sounded a little unprofessional. CCleaner became popular because it's an easy way to clear out a wide variety of unnecessary data on your system at once. Whether it's browsing history, cached images, temporary files, or even system restore points, CCleaner provides one place to do it. It can also get rid of registry entries that point to nothing, which let's be honest, they don't actually cause any problems, but they're there. Prevent programs from starting when you boot up, and it even has a secure wipe feature to help ensure that your deleted data can't be recovered. Although, careful with that one. All of this sounds pretty good, and more importantly, it's free, which is probably part of the reason it's been, according to developer Pureform, downloaded two and a half billion times, many by me, with five million desktop installs every week. All those people can't be wrong, could they? Well, as popular as CCleaner is, there are also plenty of people that warn against downloading it, even saying that it could do more harm than good. So what's the truth? We'll tell you right after we thank iFixit for sponsoring this video. iFixit wants to help you fix all of your devices so you never had to pay for a costly replacement again. From your Xbox to your toothbrush, iFixit has parts and guides for almost any device you can think of. And they have over 70,000 of those guides with step-by-step -step photos to make it easy. Check out iFixit.com slash techquickie to pick up a repair kit and join the right to repair movement today. CCleaner first started making negative headlines in 2017, when Avast, a company that makes antivirus software, bought Piriform. The same year, users noticed that CCleaner would start collecting system information, ostensibly for diagnostic purposes. While this is a very common thing for programs to do, the problem was that it would keep turning back on even after users disabled the feature, which didn't set well with folks concerned about privacy. But an even bigger story, was that it was hacked around the same time, resulting in over two million people with compromised installations of CCleaner that put spyware onto their system. A terrible look for an antivirus company whose software was supposed to clean your system, not open a door for data thieves. Now, this was obviously a while ago, and Avast did patch the security holes, but CCleaner has faced other issues since then. The program has been roundly criticized for requiring users to dig through options if they don't want extra bundled software. You know, crap, ironically installed when setting up CCleaner. Another big problem wasn't really a vast fault, but rather more of a result of how popular the program is. CCleaner is available in a pro version that has a few extra features like automatic driver updates, automatic cleaning of browsing data, and ad tracker blocking. But this pro version costs money, which led some folks to try to pirate it. And these pirated versions often contained malware meaning plenty of people did end up paying dearly for their free software. And while this is not a problem with honestly purchased copies of CCleaner, it wasn't a great thing to happen to a company that already had egg on its face for getting hacked. But current official versions of CCleaner don't have the issues that plagued it in the past, so should you use it? Well, the answer is still probably not. CCleaner does put common PC cleaning tasks into one program, true, but modern versions of Windows already come with plenty of built-in tools for cleaning up unneeded files and deciding what programs will run at startup. And it's really pretty easy to just erase your Chrome data through the browser. It even has automatic cleaning of its own. Driver updates are also usually handled automatically by utilities that come with your new hardware. And seeing as most modern systems have SSDs, CCleaner won't do very much to make your system more responsive. In a similar vein, those junk registry entries that CCleaner and other PC tune-up programs warn you about won't usually slow your system down or hurt anything. And if the program accidentally messes with something in the registry that it shouldn't, say there's a blank key somewhere that a piece of software expects to be there, there's a chance you could end up breaking something important. So unless you have a really specific need for an app like CCleaner, you're probably better off skipping it. I mean, you spend enough time cleaning anyway, so what's a few more minutes? Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.